Have you ever heard about Andansi, the trickster spider from West Africa? Well, Andansi likes to play tricks on everyone, but this time he will need some help. In this story, Anansi and the Snowstorm, Anansi is coming to Canada for the very first time. What is going to happen to this little spider when he encounters snow? Anansi and his wife lived in Jamaica for a very long time until one day Anansi's wife said to him, Anansi, we need to move from Jamaica to find a better life elsewhere. Anansi was very puzzled by this. He thought they were already living a good life in Jamaica. But his wife was very serious and she said, I am moving to Canada to find a better life and if you don't want to come, you can stay right here. Well, Anansi didn't have much of a choice if he wanted to stay with his wife. So he packed up his things and the two of them and their two children all went to Canada. When Anansi and his family arrived in Canada, do you know what happened? They came in January, which means it was very, very cold because of winter. And Anansi never experienced winter before because it does not snow in Jamaica. When Anansi got off the plane and saw the snow for the first time, he thought it looked so nice and pretty that he ran to pick up some in his hand and eek! He screamed out because he didn't realize it was so cold. It almost felt like it burned his fingers. Anansi and his family were going to have a serious problem. They did not have any warm winter clothes. What was Anansi going to do? Anansi's wife said to him, Anansi, if we are going to survive this very cold country, we are going to need three things. Firewood, winter jackets, and a nice big blanket for all of us. If we don't get these things, we will not make it in this country. Wow, Anansi finally had his first experience of snow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What an experience it was for Anansi. But no, he has to collect these three items. Well, Anansi is not a man who likes to do hard work. As a matter of fact, Anansi doesn't like to do any kind of work. But he needed the firewood, the winter jackets, and a big blanket for his family, and he didn't have any money. So Anansi decided that he was going to try and trick the snowstorm to end early and let summer come in January. That way, he wouldn't need any of those things. Anansi put on his Jamaican colored t-shirt and shorts and stood outside in the snow. Mr. Snowstorm, I have a challenge for you. And if I win, I want you to go away so my family and I can be warm. No response. Mr. Snowstorm, you are afraid of a little spider like me? Why don't you answer me? No response. Just the howling wind. And Nancy stood out in the snow with his legs trembling as he kept shouting, Mr. Snowstorm, where are you? A squirrel heard all the commotion outside his hutch and he went to see what was going on. He went outside and saw Anansi shouting into the snowstorm and wondered what was this little spider trying to do. Squirrel shouted, Hey you, keep it down because I'm trying to sleep through the winter. Same time Anansi got frightened and said, Ah, a rat! Squirrel said, Excuse me, I am not a rat, I am a squirrel. And Anansi replied, a squirrel? Is that a rat that lives in a tree? Squirrel just shook his head and started to go back to his tree. But then Anansi noticed that Squirrel had a pile of firewood at the bottom of his tree. Anansi said, Brother Squirrel, 
can you please give me some of that firewood so I can go home and make a fire for me and my family? It's too cold, Squirrel said. I worked all year to gather this firewood. What will you give me in return? And Nancy said, Brother Squirrel, I don't have anything aside from one gizada in my pocket. And Nancy took out his gizada. Squirrel said, I don't know what that thing is, but it smells so good and it looks so delicious. And Nancy said, a gizada is a nice Jamaican pastry made out of coconut and sugar. I will give it to you for some of your firewood. Can you believe it? And Nancy had to give away his last gizada that he brought from Jamaica. But at least he got the first item. Do you remember what the other two items were? Yes, that's correct. The winter jackets and the big blanket. So Nancy asked Squirrel if he had any of these things. Squirrel said no, but told him that his friend Raccoon could help. And Nancy had to get these things, so he set off to find Raccoon. And Nancy was trudging through the snow and shaking his fist at the snowstorm, shouting, Mr. Snowstorm, I command you to stop right now before you get me angry. He didn't realize it, but he was right outside Raccoon's den when he began shouting. Raccoon jumped out with a growl and said, You silly insect shouting at the snow. Leave this place before I eat you. And Nancy jumped up in surprise and thought to himself, He's never seen a rat this big. He said, uh, Are you the one called Raccoon? Raccoon answered, Yes, I am. And what do you want? And Nancy told Raccoon that he needed four winter jackets for him and his family. Raccoon replied, Yes, I am a collector of all the things people like to throw away, and I can give you four winter jackets. But what will you give me? And Nancy thought about it for a minute and said, Brother Raccoon, all I have is this old gig that I used to play with as a child in Jamaica. You wrap a cord around it and spin it on the floor. Raccoon never saw anything like this before, but he liked the fact that it was old and maybe going to the garbage heap. So he exchanged the winter jackets for the gig. And Nancy said, Thank you, Brother Raccoon, but, but I still need one more thing. Do you remember what that was? Yes, the blanket. Raccoon said to Anansi, I don't have any blanket here, but my friend Skunk might have one. Anansi was very cold and tired now, but he knew he had to get the last thing on the list. So he walked and walked some more and shook his fist at the howling snowstorm and shouted, Mr. Snowstorm, I command you to stop this right now. You are going on for too long. As soon as he said that, Skunk poked her head out of her hole and shouted, Hey, you spider, you are disturbing my beauty sleep. And Nancy could not believe what he was seeing. Yet another rat. This time, a black and white one. And that smell, he nervously said. Ex Excuse me, miss. Are you the one they call Skunk? Skunk replied, Yes, I am. And who are you? And what are you doing outside in the snowstorm? And Nancy explained to Miss Skunk that he needed one more thing on his list before he could return home. He needed a big blanket for his family. Skunk said, Well, I have a big blanket that I can give to you. But what will you give to me in return? And Nancy thought about it and said, Well, uh, Miss Skunk, I can see that you're a very fancy lady, and I think this bandana cloth will look very lovely on you. 
this is a one of a kind material that is worn in jamaica at our festivals you will be the only person here who has one and nancy took the brightly colored red plaid cloth from around his waist and put around skunk's shoulders absolutely fabulous and nancy said skunk liked the idea she would be the only one with this item so she gave Anansi the blanket in exchange for the bandana cloth. Anansi hurried home to his wife and children as soon as he got the blanket. They were so happy to see him. They lit the firewood, put on the winter jacket, and all huddled together under the large blanket. They finally felt warm and cozy at home. Anansi bragged to his wife, You see how strong and mighty I am? I defeated the powerful snowstorm after just one day in Canada, and all it took was a gizada, a gig, and a bandana cloth. And Nancy's wife just looked at him and laughed. Well, Anansi is now in Canada, but notice he had to share some of the things that he brought from his own country to find new friends and get what he wanted. That is how we should approach things. Whenever you're afraid because you're in a new place, it's always the best thing to find new friends. Just like a Nancy. Nancy Karen family come back Canada. And Nancy never know, say it's so cool. And Nancy start to fall and him fall and him fall. If never know, say Canada cool so. Nancy Karen wife come back Canada. And Nancy never knew, say, I saw it so. And Nancy step outside and he bite him, you see. When he see it, he say, pretty like a sugar. And Nancy step outside, barefoot. When he bite him, pan him foot, so he squeal out. He say, Lord, it cool, it cool, it cool. Me never know, say, Canada cool so. His wife say, and Nancy, you have a fine work. And Nancy say, when me go find work? She say, you fi go and drive a truck that clean up the snow off the road. 